on this day, Kalpana here in this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve cos square x into dy by dx plus y equals to tan x. Solution, given differential equation, cos square x into dy by dx plus y equals to tan x. You can write this as, so here we are having the quotient of dy by dx is cos square x. So what we'll do is we'll simply make this quotient to 1, okay? So in order to make this to 1, what we'll do is we'll just divide the whole equation by this cos square x, okay? Or we can just write directly dy by dx plus y by cos square x equals to tan x by cos square x. Or you can just divide the whole equation by cos square x. Here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split the LHS part into two terms. We we'll get cos square x into dy by dx by cos square x plus y by cos square x equals to tan x by cos square x. cos square x from the first term gets cancelled and you'll get dy by dx plus y by cos square x equals to tan x by cos square x. Fine. Now this is in standard form of linear equation in y. Which is linear in Y. We know that the standard form of linear equation in Y, the standard form of linear equation in Y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q. Right? So the reduced equation is of standard form of linear equation in Y form. Now, by comparing these two, we'll get P and Q, where P equals to 1 by cos square x and Q equals to tan x by cos square x. So, here P and Q are functions of x. Since we know that reciprocal of cos theta equals to secant theta, Q square on both sides, we'll get Reciprocal of cos square theta equals to secant square theta, right? So, you can write P, that is 1 by cos square x as secant square x. Then P becomes secant square x. And you can write this Q as tan x into 1 by cos square x. Replace reciprocal of cos square x by secant square x, then you'll get tan x into secant square x. Okay, so we have p equals to secant square x and q equals to tan x into secant square x. Now we need to find the integrating factor. We know that integrating factor I f of this equation is given by e power integral p dx, right? Now using this formula, we will find the integrating factor to the given equation. Integrating factor equals to e power integral p dx. For p equals to secant square x into dx. 
is equals to if r, we know that sense. Integral secant square x dx equals to tan x, right? So therefore, our integrating factor is if r tan x. Now we'll find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y, the general solution of linear equation in y is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation or the reduced or the reduced uh, standard form of the given equation. Okay, the general solution of given equation is y into integrating factor equal tan x equals integral q for q equals to tan x into secant square x into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now let tan x equals to t Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. d by dx of tan x equals to d by dx of t. From this we will get derivative of tan x is secant square x equals to dt by dx. From this we will get secant square x into dx equals to dt. Okay. So here we can replace tan x by t. And secant square x into dx by dt. Simply you can write this as or the integrand as tan x into e power tan x into secant square x into dx plus integral constant c is equals to now put tan x equals to t and secant square x dx equals to dt. Okay, then this becomes integral t e power t into replace secant square x into dx by dt plus c. Now you can evaluate this using Bernoulli's formula or by integration by parts formula. Okay. So here the integrand is of polynomial function into exponential function form, right? Polynomial function into exponential function form. So we will consider polynomial function as u and the remaining as d. Okay. So here let u equals to t and the remaining e power t into dt as dv or you can write it you can write it as dv equals to e power t into dt we know that the integral by parts integral u into dv equals to uv minus integral v into d okay Now differentiate on both sides with respect to t. Then you'll get du equals to dt. du by dt equals to 1. Derivative of t with respect to t is 1, right? From this you'll get du equals to dt. Now integrate on both sides. 
we will get V equals to integral e power t dt is e power t. So we have u, v and du which is equals to dt. Let u equals to t and dv equals to e power t into dt. Then we'll get d equals to dx and v equals to e power t. Sorry, not dx, dt. Then y into e power tan x equals to this becomes here we need to use integration by parts formula okay u this is our u right and the remaining is our dv so integral u into dv is uv for u equals to t into v for v equals to e power t minus integral v for v equals to t sorry for v equals to e power t into du for du equals to dt. equals to t e power t minus integral e power t dt is e power t plus integral constant c. Now put t equals to tan x. Since tan x equals to t, right? Then you get tan x into e power tan x minus e power tan x plus c. Now we can take e power tan x common from these two terms then we'll get e power tan x times tan x minus 1 plus integral constant c. Therefore, y into e power tan x equals to e power tan x times tan x minus 1 plus c is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.